Transferring a WordPress website to new host or new domain is easier than you think. In this step-by-step -step guide, I will break down hosting migration process into 7 simple steps. In this tutorial, I will transfer a WordPress website to Hostinger. First of all, I have to download all files of this website. To download all files of this website, I have to log into my cPanel. Let's go there. This is the cPanel of that website. I'm gonna click to file manager. Then click to public underscore HTML. I'll select all this file. To select all this file, click to select all. Then right click to mouse and click to compress or we can compress file clicking over here. Both will do the same thing. Now click to compress. Now I have to select my file extension. I'm gonna click to zip archive. After that, I have to choose my file name. Here it will be my website name. I'm changing to RIF. This is my website name. You can keep it anything you want. Then click to compress file. Compression process has been finished. Now click to close. This is my file that I want to transfer. Now select this file and click to download. I'm gonna choose a file location to keep this backup in a safe place. Then click to save. First part of migration process is finished. Now I'll download database. To download database, I will come to cPanel again and find phpMyAdmin and click here. In this hosting package, I have couple of website. This is why there is a showing a couple of database here. If you have only one website, then you will find your database here. As I have couple of websites here, let's find my perfect database. To find my exact database from here, I'm gonna visit my file manager again. And here in my files, I'm gonna edit wp-config.psv file. Click to edit, then edit. Here in this location, you will find your database information. Last letter of my database is 950. So this is the database that I want to download. To download this database, I'm gonna click over here. Then from the top menu, I'm gonna click to export. Then everything will remain same, then click to export. Then I'll choose that file location where I downloaded my files. Then save. Second part is also finished. Now I will configure DNS. To configure DNS, I have to log in my domain panel. For example, I'm gonna log into my Namecheap account. Here I have couple of domain. In every domain panel, you will find such an option to manage domain. For example, I'm gonna change the DNS for WooCommerce.life. To do that, I'm gonna click to manage. Here is my DNS information. It can be called as name server too. As I'm gonna transfer this website to Hostinger, this is why I will put Hostinger DNS here. After that, I will click to save change. That's it. So third process is DNS configuration also finished. Now I have to upload files. I have to upload files to my Hostinger account. This is why I'm gonna log into Hostinger H panel. This is my Hostinger panel where I want to transfer my website. This is why I'm gonna click to manage. So here I will find the option to upload my files. To upload files, I'm gonna click to file manager. After that, I have to upload my files to public underscore HTML. To do that, I'm gonna double click to this folder. At the top right corner, you will find the option to upload file. Click this icon. Now I'm gonna click to file. This is the file and this is the database. Now I'm gonna upload this file that I downloaded from my old server. To upload this file, first select this file, then click to open. File uploading has finished. Now I will extract this file here. To extract this file, I will right click on my mouse, then click to extract. Here I can choose my folder location to extract this file, but I want to extract this file to this root directory. To extract this file to this root directory, I'm gonna double click to this folder icon, then create a folder location here, then click to extract. So I have done my uploading, now I have to create a database. To create a database, navigate to the database in hosting H panel, then click over here. Here I have to create a database, so let's create a database name first. Then create a username. Then create a password. Be sure to keep this information, because we will need this information later. After providing a database name, username and password, then click to create. Our database created successfully. After that, I'm gonna click to enter phpMyAdmin to import our downloaded database. Let's click to enter phpMyAdmin. Here I have to import my database. To import database, I'm gonna click to import here. 
then I have to choose file. Click to choose file. This is my database that I want to import. I'm gonna select this database then click to open. Everything will remain same then click to go. Database upload also finished. Here is the list of our database table. So one by one we have done our six steps. We have downloaded our files, we have downloaded our database, we have configured DNS, we have uploaded files, create database, import database. Now we have only one thing remaining that is change database info. Look, this is our database name. If we open our wp-config.php and edit this file, here is our old database information when the site was on our previous hosting. Now we have moved our files and database to the hosting gear so we have updated this database info. As I told you before that uh, we will use this information. So this is our database name. So I will copy this database name and replace this old database name and paste that new database name. Again I will copy this username here and replace with old username after that password. Always put your files between this colon. You might think this is important bracket. Always remove all this information between this colon then put latest information. That's it. Now I'm gonna save this file from the top right corner. Done. Doing all these steps we have successfully migrated our website to hosting here. And visit our website it is looking fantastic so this is how we can transfer migrate move our wordpress website to hostinger if you can transfer to hostinger you can transfer to any hosting around the world let me know if you have any questions or suggestions i promise i will come back to you as soon as i can if you find this video helpful please hit the thumbs up and you can share this video with your friends as well hope to see you in the next wp bravo tutorial till then take care